name's Matt Jacobs. I'm Chief Commercial Officer for Cornelis Networks. Super Computing is part of our fabric. <laughs> We've been here uh, as a team uh, collectively for decades, um, and it's part of our storytelling, and it's also part of collecting valuable market feedback on products and business decisions that we'll make in the coming year. Cornelis Networks services a variety of different markets, but as a high-performance network provider, uh, we service mostly HPC simulation, AI, machine learning, and high-performance data analytics. Uh, there's a lot that goes into each of those markets, and uh, each of them have their own separate concerns around data performance. We provide a, a fully integrated fabric solution uh, that includes adapters, top of rack, uh, edge switches, and director switches, as well as the software that holds all that together and makes it perform. So our customers are largely in the federal space, uh, manufacturing, life sciences, and simulation, and of course, a growing market in AI and machine learning. Uh, and we are available through a variety of different resellers in the market, including HPE, Dell, and other companies like Penguin Computing. Cornelis Networks is excited this week to be revealing our roadmap. We're sharing more publicly than we have uh, since our start a couple of years ago. Um, and in that, we're releasing our Omnipath Express product this week. That is a software platform uh, that gives us significant performance enhancement over where we've been. Uh, we increase our message rate by over two and a half times and we reduce our latencies to sub-microsecond levels. So it's an exciting time for us to energize our existing product, but then also we're talking about the future of the platform. So as we move into next year, we release our 400 gig platform and the CN5000. That product will also be available in liquid and air-cooled platforms so we can satisfy a broader segment of the market. And as we move forward, we'll release an 800 gig product. That 800 gig product will have also a DPU, a data processing unit, so we'll be able to do more in or in-network compute um, and provide a variety of different acceleration modalities for the fabric itself, as well as application acceleration uh, in the network itself. As we look forward to the future, data is becoming the challenge for all of us. Um, if you look at simulation workloads, if you look at AI, machine learning, and high performance data analytics workloads, those workloads are more complex than they have been before. The types of questions we're asking of them are more complex. And the data that drives them is continuing to grow. So as we move forward, it's important that we understand that the CPU, the GPU, is going to get closer to the network. And we have to have creative high performance solutions that not only enable that, but are also open and interoperable with the systems and the ecosystems that our customers have deployed in their environments. What sets Cornelis Networks apart from the competition? First and foremost, it's performance. That's our business. We have to be the fastest. We have to have the bandwidth that our, our applications need to actually grow. As we move forward, um, openness is a big part of our ethos as a company. A uh, platform that's open is easier to integrate into an, our customers' organizations. We have our drivers are upstream in the kernel, uh, so they just work, uh, which is a huge differentiation in the space. Interoperability is a big, big key. Uh, if you look at the way that our customers operate, it's important that we are a part of the ecosystem, right, that they have deployed inside their data centers. And that's a big drive for us here um, at Cornelis. And at the end of the day, being platform agnostic it gives our customers choice. It gives them the ability to operate on their CPU and GPU of choice, um, and that's a liberating experience for most people in the market today.